Hey guys, so I wanted to show you my little um, fireplace setup. Yesterday I picked this up at a food distribution event that I was volunteering at. And this, I believe, is, I think it's Holiday Greenery from Trader Joe's. I know it was $3.99. If you go to the floral section, you guys can check it out. Now, the thing I like about this is, is that it smells like Christmas. And there really was no way to put it down. You can see that I have, like, one, I think these are pine needles. This one, Christmas pine needles. So I have two of them over here. And then I have this thing, which I think is another sort of... Sorry, I'm not very good with my trees. Some sort of other thingy-majingy. I've seen this before. And then, I, is this pine? I forgot. Um, and then I, I believe this is fir. So there was four different pieces over here. And for $3.99, I think it was pretty good. Um, I liked it a lot. You can see that I did really minimal changes to this stuff. All I did was I just... Well, actually, I didn't swap out anything. I just put the, the greenery on, underneath and I laid it kind of on the side. So this, I didn't really want it smashing it, so I put this off on the side. This thing, this candle is so light. Um, it was no big deal. And then, of course, putting a little pine cones. This candle, some of it's on there. Could not be helped. There was no really way around it. And then pine cones, that, and then the sheep. And this sheep was upcycled. So he was in a recycling bin, and I remember when I saw it, I thought, oh, I want to bring the sheep, because, you know, someone's store, store, uh, mascot is a sheep. I believe this is a sheep. Looks like a sheep. Yeah. Maybe it's, a. Uh... yeah. Anyway, anyway, so we have the golden sheep, the golden ass over here, I mean the donkey, and I think it looks pretty good. Now... I don't know if you guys heard me say it on stream, but in Manhattan, there's a lot of places. There's a lot of like sidewalk sellers for Christmas trees. And I noticed maybe it's just, maybe it's just timing, but people aren't, it doesn't really seem that there, people are really showing that much interest in the Christmas trees. I know someone asked how much was a Christmas tree. It was like 90 bucks. And 90 bucks for this holiday season. I don't know how many people are going to be kind of gung-ho bringing, uh, spending $90 on a tree that they're going to dispose of. Now, the, about this is if you want the, the sentence for a really cheap price, $3.99, you can achieve it. You just got to make sure that, that pieces fur or pine, I think the fur is most of the smell, by the way, um, around where you, so this would be good, I think on like on a kitchen countertop or maybe a dresser. Now, mind you, the only bad thing about this is the needles. So the needles do shed and you can see that this, you see they're starting to fall down. I'm just being very open here. I mean, it looks nice. It smells nice. It's just these freaking needles. What I did is I thought to myself, okay, well, when I removed it from the packaging, there was some pine needles, and I liked the scent of it. I took in the pine needles that fell down from the packaging, and I put them in a little jar. So whenever I want to have the little smell of Christmas, and I'm sitting in the kitchen on my laptop, or now trying to figure out video editing, I can be, I can be, sniff this thing. <laughs> I guess it's my sniffing jar. So I have a little scent of Christmas next to me. It's a good way to kind of um, reuse the scraps that are coming out. And you can see, I, I don't think I would reuse the stuff that is it, that falls off because it's going to be mixed in with cat hair and so. But in terms of the packaging, I don't see any downside of just kind of collecting it um, instead of putting it straight to the trash. So I like this, and I would recommend it if you guys do not want to lug a big Christmas tree over. If I wanted to get a Christmas tree, most likely I would want something that's like seven or eight foot. I know that sounds massive, but keep in mind that this apartment has 12 foot high ceilings. Not 25 foot, by the way. 12 foot high ceilings. And I just think having something like seven feet tall, maybe eight feet tall would be really nice. However... We do have space constraints, and transporting a big, big, big Christmas tree is really not my thing. And hold on, let me show you guys this. I 
I guess this is where video editing would come and play if I was recording. But, um, so this is a stack of magazines that I picked up. Look at this. So this is 2017. And when I saw this, it just made me laugh. See this? This person has a Christmas tree. And then they're going on the subway with people with also their Christmas trees. Yeah. Um, this is the only way you can really transport Christmas trees, I think. Unless you find maybe a Uber driver who would be, allow you to bring the Christmas tree over. I'm not too sure because it's kind of messy. You know, just bringing the branches over here. I, I saw all these pine needles on the in the packaging. I can't imagine any Uber driving being like, okay, yeah, bring your Christmas tree in. Yeah, it's totally fine if I have like maybe 50 or 50 or 75 pine needles in my my trunk. I, I don't see that happening. So, um, how you think of pine needles once they dry up? Yeah, yeah, um, they are gonna drop, you can see. I had this up yesterday, and you could see that they're already dropping their needles. See it? See it over there? And then they're also dropping their needles on the, over here itself. You can see it. It's a good way of getting the, the smell of Christmas, and it's manageable. Um, I don't know how we would, tra like I said, I don't know how we would transport a big Christmas tree over here and setting it up and then putting it back down the stairs. It's just, ah. Uh. Yeah, these pine needles, are, they're kind of, uh, I love Christmas, I really do, but oh, uh, I don't want to deal with like a huge seven foot pile of pine needles possibly dropping. And talking about Christmas trees, look at this. This is my, whoops. This is my holiday decoration. Let me put it up here and then I can show you guys this. So this is my holiday decoration from I think February of this year. I was walking around and I remember I was in, I was near Oreo's vet. They were tossing out Christmas trees because it was after Christmas. I, I believe this was in, not no, this was in February. This was like in early January. So I what I did is I grabbed a branch because they, they were throwing it out anyway. And I just snapped it. And I thought, let me make some kind of decoration out of it. And this has been up for close to a year. I put these little decorations that I found. You see the little birds. They came from a dumpster at a craft store. And... Yeah, I think he's kind of cute. So this is this is proof that this kind of stuff does last for a while. Uh, it is a fire fire hazard, however. I heard that when they drop their needles and if there's a fire, it can be not so good. So this is the only thing that we have. I'm thinking that for this Christmas or after this holiday season, if I come across any wreaths that people toss out, normally, um, I remember I saw this one, there's this big luxury condo right next to a trader joe's in brooklyn and they threw away this gorgeous christmas wreath and it was a huge like 24 inch wreath right and i think they threw it around like january 11th or so i was carrying so many groceries from trader joe's that evening like super heavy amount i could not pick up the wreath and i was thinking about picking up the wreath salvaging it for parts and then um you know uh putting it out afterwards but I didn't and now because I've been on this upcycling thing I think if I see another wreath I, I'm not going to be carrying a massive amount of groceries since we do food delivery now um, I will try to salvage the wreath for parts decorations and then you know slowly add to my um, Christmas wreath ornament thing I actually want to make a wreath um, I'm on the fence though because if we did have a wreath, most likely it would go on the front door. And because the door um, shuts every time you open and close it, um, I don't know anybody who gingerly opened the front door. I don't want pine needles to just start turning into... I, I don't want like the front door area become, basically becoming like pine needle galore. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm on the fence about that, but it, I guess it all depends if I come across materials or not. I was planning that Oh, hold on, I gotta, I'll put my little, ah, my little bird song. Um, I was planning to just make a wreath out of the, this, this greenery in the event that it didn't work out with the mantelpiece. It looks like a lot, and I'm happy about that. Uh, I figure I should put it over here since 
Well, we have so much cat stuff over there, it's gonna be an absolute headache to clean it up. And then second of all, because he works over here and he does all his video editing over here, um, it would be a really, really good thing to, you know, kind of bring the smell of Christmas to where he is. If we had a Christmas tree, the Christmas tree would not be in front of his speakers. It would be on the other side of the apartment, probably closer to the front window. I have seen some, some, um, apartments when i'm walking around the neighborhood they have these beautiful gorgeous big christmas trees i mean they're really wide christmas trees kind of like the stuff you would see in the department stores i don't know if it's fake or if it's real but the way they decorate it it looks amazing they have the gold ribbon around it just looks like a professional tree and i don't want to get a christmas tree since well like I mentioned before, pine needles, transport. If I get the fake Christmas tree, which I'm open to getting if I see it inside like of a, um, if I see it being thrown out like in a dumpster, um, in the box, by the way, I'm open to bringing that home because I know I can rehome it very, very easily, especially now. But yeah, I would not go out of my way to spend like $90 on a Christmas tree, <laughs> especially when I only see it for um, a haul just for the holiday season and ornaments although we have a whole bunch of ornaments i would not have to worry um, about christmas ornaments right now at all um we have a big bag of christmas ornaments I, I i never asked him how he got so many ornaments but i'm not complaining you guys saw my wreath thing um so it's coming together over there and i'm just happy about it yeah so i just wanted to show you guys this and it is a small little thing and i'm happy about it uh let me see Oh, transporter taxis. Wow. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I, I don't know how I think New Yorkers they really just put it on the subway and, and then they just let it be. Then again, I haven't been in New York very long, but I imagine for the for the normal citizen, this is the cheapest way to transport. I think it's like two seventy five for um a subway fare one way. So the transport it'll be like what, five five fifty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just I don't want to think about the pine needles uh, falling and getting shaken off the tree every time the front door opens. Most likely, I would want to get a faux Christmas wreath. Right now, we have the flowery one, as you guys see. It's indicative of spring, and yeah, um, <laughs> I've been thinking about like cleaning up the front area of um, the apartment. Um, outside our front door because it's it's looking kind of spring like I have this giant teddy bear outside in a in a garbage bag because I thought to myself like oh you know in case there was anything inside of there there was not um, I just wanted to make sure that yeah if that that the bugs died and it's been outside there for about I think three months <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's in like these, it's it's like a giant teddy bear that someone left out. Now, if you guys follow like Stooping NYC, basically the mascot of that group is these giant teddy bears that somehow appear in, uh, they somehow appear and people throw them out. I don't know why the hell people are buying these. It, it, it seems like a four foot teddy bear. You know, those big teddy bears that you see at Costco. People, people somehow get them, um, I guess they're getting them as gifts, maybe Valentine's Day, or they think it's cute, and they don't mind spending like 50 or $100 on these bears. For me, yeah, I, I saw it and I thought, okay, let me rehome this. I guess if I wanted to, you know, I could try to um, um, post it online. I'm pretty sure someone would pick it up, but yeah, it's it's been on my mind, like find a place for the little teddy bear and hey, hey, get off the table. Clinton, get off the table. So Clinton has now um, has been jumping on the acrylic table, and I'm not too happy about it. Thankfully, well, Oreo, of course, you know, Oreo's not jumping on no acrylic table anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a, I don't have the, the, the movie at all. I don't know. It sounds cute though. So, yeah. Um, I need to like clear up and post things online for free. I have like a bunch of stuff. I was um, pulling and yeah, um, gotta make, I gotta clear things up.
Um, I don't want to have to do spring cleaning. I want to just do like a, a continual cleaning all the time and see how it goes. The stuff that I've been picking up, as you can see, it definitely is a lot more focused than before. I pick up stuff that I think have a use, like this pine needle thing. This came in yesterday. It's no, I, I have a genuine use for it. And decor stuff, I think if you stick, if, if you go with like the knickknacks and stuff, it can clutter up an apartment really, really fast. So that's why if you notice, what I like to do is I like to use greenery around the apartment now and then uh, dry them out like eucalyptus leaves. I have this other thing that I've been drying out. I don't know, if it's, it's like a work in progress. I've been trying to dry these ones and you can see like I have it hanging from a hanger I don't want to move the tripod right now um, I have it hanging from a hanger and this thing I don't know how it's gonna dry it looks a little suspect right now that's the thing about like drying greens or flowers I'm open to drying them because it doesn't you know all I have to do is just keep them upside down for a few weeks but yeah this one let's put it upright how does it look Eh. We'll see. We'll see in like a couple of weeks. It's really simple. So all I do is I just get a long piece of twine. I think I do something like three or four feet. The longer, the better. You know, you, you can always, you can always, um, hold on. Um, you can always, you know, shorten the length or just wrap it around a few times rather than having a short one. And then you're kind of struggling to uh, maintain length. I like having it long just because sometimes I have longer pieces or like more flowers and then I just want to, um, I just want to, um, mm -hmm. such a troublemaker sometimes. Um, I just want to, um, make sure that it's like correctly affixed and what all I do is I just tie some twine over it and then I put some rubber bands over here and then it just hangs from a hanger. Oh. Hold on. I undid it because I... So basically it just hangs from a hanger and then I got to fix it. It just hangs from a hanger for about three weeks. I don't really time it. It's just some... And that's it. So yeah, that's how I do my dried flowers and my dried greenery. And I like it a lot. I just have this one hanging. I had um, roses and the roses look like absolute crap. I, I, um, I dropped it off at a food compost bin because I was like, oh, this looks like crap. And yeah, so I, I recommend that if you guys getting like greenery or flowers, try and hang them upside down. Don't start hanging them when they look crappy. You should do it before then because you kind of lock in the crappiness if you do that. And give it a, you know, give it a shot. See how it is. Uh, the eucalyptus leaves that I have look really nice. And then I have another thing, too, that looks quite nice. I, I think it's baby spray. So baby spray. Oops. Damn this course. Yeah, the baby spray looks good. Yeah, so I might... Uh-oh. Hold up. Where did influencer's cord go? Oh, I remember. It went... Where did it go? Hmm. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe you just put it up right. Anyway, anyway, I'm sure he'll figure it out later. I can't figure out where this HDMI cord goes. And he has a cord that's not plugged in, so maybe he just had it stored here. I'm not too sure. So, let's see, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I gotta get going on my day, but I just wanted to share this with you guys, and if you guys, um, 
are bringing in a Christmas tree of sorts, let me know. Um, I, I don't know if Christmas sales are going to be down. I think Christmas sales are going to be down, but hold on. <clears throat> I think Christmas sales are going to be that Christmas tree sales might be down. But I was reading online that according well, according to I guess um people or the news that people are buying Christmas trees because it's a way to kind of cheer them up for the holiday season, you know, having this big bountiful Christmas tree and I get it, you know, I get it, but I don't know. It's like I think there's such beauty in Christmas trees, but the upcake on the Christmas tree and the tra like the transporting in the Christmas tree, I don't think that's very fun. And I'd rather stick with the faux tree. You guys know I have a small, I think it's like a, like a two foot tree. I, I think it was supposed to be three foot, but I, I'm, I think it's closer to two feet. I have a little two foot cr uh, faux Christmas tree that I got last year when um, Papyrus was closing that. I think I got it for like 90% off. Yeah, I was, was I, we have a uh, one Christmas tree over here and then we have two little Christmas trees at the at the um at the store and then one I think 5 foot, 4 or 5 foot Christmas tree over there too. The Christmas trees have been so up the <laughs> up at the front for so long. It's in it's in season and I think Christmas trees are really great. They have like LED lights on them or they got the you know, the, the the little sparkler thingies if you plug them in. And it's really pretty. I just I just don't feel the need to plug it in. So. But I like having that option. I absolutely like having that option. So anyway, anyway. Um, is it essential to move Christmas trees in this city? Uh, no, but it, it provides a dose of happiness. And yeah, I see it as like a, a decor item that um, that is that you don't have to store, but every year you're spending about 50 to $90 or upwards of that to bring in a Christmas tree. Yeah, I, I don't I don't want to deal with a real Christmas tree, at least right now. So doing something like this really works. It's light, it's less than, it's less than, I think less than one and a half pounds, definitely less than two pounds. And yeah, anyone can just bring this home, you know, bring, Bring five of these home if you want. They're four dollars each. This is just one package of it, and I'm very, very happy with it. I don't know what I would do if I actually had five bundles of this. I don't want to put it on the other side because all the cat stuff is over there. And yeah, but anyway, I'm happy with this little thing. I'm happy that it got donated by Trader Joe's, and for this holiday season, this is how we're getting our smell of Christmas, and I get to smell this. It smells so nice. Like if you smell this jar, you guys, it it smells like Christmas in a jar. It's a nice little getaway in a sense. Some people have their scented candles that they smell or their lavender. I really, really love this at the smell of Christmas tree. It's so calming and so soothing. It's really great. So if you have any leftovers, just put the just put it into a small glass jar. I like having this glass jar in particular. We have the um I have the lid. This one was um, a French pudding container. I did buy this one. It was the French pudding, in my opinion, wasn't that good. But the jar is absolutely great. If you have uh, flowers that are a little short or the head snapped off, uh, if you have two of them, just put them as an X and they look really nice. So this is a very, very, very useful jar. And yeah, it, I've, I've, I've used this for like about five different uses right now. But And this is over here so yeah i will talk to you guys later and oh wait come to think about does amazon sell live trees for christmas i don't know i have no idea um they might if they do i will not be surprised i haven't seen it but if they think i think the problem with selling live christmas trees is people want to check out their christmas tree it's not like buying a cut watermelon uh, for a cut watermelon, I bought that once off, I think, Whole Foods Delivery. It sucked, you guys. I was looking at the reviews of it, and some people were complaining that it, was, it wasn't it was ripe. When I got the watermelon, it was it was definitely not ripe. And I kind of think, like, they were, they just, they don't, they either don't really have quality standards for their watermelon, or they just, they just don't care. 
or they have this uh, refund if you're not happy with the watermelon then you can return it so I t I um, asked for a refund because it was just it was terrible it was a very underripe watermelon the, the most underripe water, uh, watermelon I've ever had so for Christmas trees my concern is is that if they try to deliver Christmas trees people would say something like oh um, you know, there was too many broken branches, and if they can't inspect it, maybe they won't be happy. If they have a Christmas tree that looks a little, like, bent on one side, or if, like, some of the branches are gone, or there's some bald spots. Yeah, um, that's why people like to check out their Christmas trees in person, and I understand it. But if they do, I won't be surprised. If they don't, I won't be surprised as well. So I'll talk to you guys later, and you guys take care, and see ya.